I already made videos about Patcha 25 T's buffs, uh, which actually are very significant and make this thing quite a beast, I have to say. That gun handling boost plus extra 20 shells is pretty nutty. Also, K91 is getting fully rotatable turret, and they're going to buff uh, this already crazy DPM even more, lowering the reload time by 0.6 seconds. Which means you're able to bump out from 4.6 up to 4.8 thousand DPM from this tank, uh, depending which step of equipment units you are using or crew uh, skills you are using uh, which is honestly kinda nutty if you want to check out those videos links are in the description but there was one tier 10 tank we did not talk about and this is m48 a5 baton and they didn't make dedicated video about that because in all honesty it is going to play exactly the same as it did just slightly better you know it is nice to see believe me i'm very happy to see that baton is receiving some love because i really like like this tank and I want to see Baton doing really good but uh, when receiving extra 3 kilometers per hour top speed 0 0.01 dispersion 0 0.1 second aiming time shaved off and the extra 150 horsepower to the engine as well which in all honesty is actually very significant if I think about that you know it makes you a little bit more bulky on the reach lines you're able to go out here uh, take the shot and pull back faster you're able to climb hill faster and uh, um, get up to that top speed faster now yes uh, extra three kilometers per hour top speed but you know as i said overall it plays exactly the same and maybe this is a good way to buff tanks guys just baby steps do not over buff them and then nerf them a couple batches later and to sum up the tier 10 buffs uh, one guy said very nicely in the comment section under one of my previous videos that batch at 25t now has amazing gun k91 has absurd dpm and Patton can finally keep up with heavy tanks. Ladies and gentlemen, tier 10 buffs coming with update 1.26, but those are not the only buffs that are coming with uh, this update and uh, now we are going to take a look at some premium tanks as well which are getting some love from Wargaming and uh, maybe it is time to shake off the dust from uh, one of your older premium tanks if you have any of those which are getting buffed and first up let's talk about IS-5 which uh, Honestly, I do not even remember when I last played IS-5 on the live server because I really dislike this tank. I really dislike this gun. It's uh, right now currently on the live server. Gun is kind of disgusting and this is kind of off-putting for me as well. But uh, because it is available on the Bond store uh, to pick up, let's have a look what they did. So dispersion buffed uh, by uh, 0 0.04 down to 0 0.42. Aiming time. 0.5 seconds better down to 2.7 and also dispersion all the way around uh, turret rotation hull movement hull rotation uh, has been buffed as well so basically they aimed at the gun handling to make it uh, a little bit better and yes the gun handling is better but my main question is if you have also defender available on the bone store why should you really pick up this tank uh, which is more expensive as well on the bone store i really i st i still like i still do not see uh, much use of that or much use for is5 for me personally at least but you know good to see that this tank is getting some love because i know many of you guys uh, have picked it up from the clan wars campaigns as well when you were able to pick it up at first and it has been simply sitting in the garage you don't see uh, too many is5s on the battlefield nowadays as well maybe this is going to help it out but the next up guys uh, i am going to talk about amx canon the assault 105 or amx cda and about this one i have to say i was quite surprised to see it getting buffed uh, that much as much as it did because uh, i have made uh, videos about this tank before as well and uh, i remember my previous one of my previous videos was and they kind of called it uh, a hidden gem for me personally at least because it had a couple tricks up in its sleeve already like the shell velocity which is uh, 1525 in tier 8 and having 260 millimeters of penetration 
You know, on a tier 8 premium tank with APCR, this is actually very, very nice, right? Uh, so, to have a better reload, as you can see over here, uh, reload has been boosted, aiming time has been boosted, dispersion has been boosted, and extra hit points as well. And over here, you can see that uh, it received almost um, 200 extra DPM with that aiming time, now from uh, 1.92 down to 1.73. And also the dispersion factors over here and extra 200 hit points from 1000 up to 1200. This tank uh, definitely when the batch goes live and all the changes go live as well as they are over here. I'm definitely going to make a video about that, uh, uh, this vehicle right away and uh, will test it out uh, how good it is now. Because as I said, I already kind of liked it quite a bit guys. Now, so AMX CDA 105, if uh, it has been in your garage collecting dust, maybe shake it a little bit after 1.26. Now moving on, next tank we have a 59 Baton. Kind of a weird tank, uh, kind of a massive turret on the top of this, uh, you know, this is usually the most off-putting thing. But it is getting some love and uh, some love to its aiming to speed, um, to dispersion, turning to rotation and also extra alpha damage. From 240 alpha up to 280. This is the same treatment they did to the Panther 88. You know, buffing its DPM, not by buffing the reload time, but increasing the alpha damage from 240 up to 280. And uh, now high explosive does 370 uh, damage. And uh, Patton's DPM was increased by 300, over 300 actually, as you can see. Aiming time uh, down to 1.63 seconds with 100% crew over here. And um, this is maybe something to look out for. Now, Patton has, uh, I would say, one hidden trick up in its sleeve. You can see that its AP round has uh, 914 shell velocity, but the uh, premium heat you know if you are a premium spammer premium lover uh, 250 heat pen with 1219 shell velocity so this makes you simply uh, hit targets easier and penetrate targets easier as well with uh, the uh, extra penetration but you know this uh, trick uh, was up in his sleeve already and i would say kind of the only good thing about that um, you know outside uh, decent gun handling as well, I would say. You know, those uh, dispersion factors are not the worst either. So 59 Baton, maybe something to try out one more time as well. And uh, to get penetrated into your massive commander hatch, shot after shot after shot after shot. Before you can even see them. Because the, your commander hatch is visible for the enemies before you can even see their outline. Especially if you are playing on the reach lines. Uh, moving on, next up we have uh, Alt Proto AMX uh, 30 or AP AMX 30. Tank which uh, I have not played a lot. I don't really love this tank and even after buffs I don't think I'm going to love this tank very much. Uh, whenever I see that it has kind of annoying armor layout. I gotta, I gotta give it uh, that. It has kind of annoying armor layout. And gun reload time is going to be buffed by one second, so extra DPM, also dispersion has been made better quite significantly on turret rotation, guys. And also it is going to get some uh, hull rotation and turret rotation speed. And uh, here you can see what it does to the DPM, extra uh, 200 DPM compared to the previous version. And also turret rotation, uh, stabilization or dispersion was brought down massively actually. So, you know, it helps you to take more snappy shots uh, while you have to turn your turret as well at the same time. And uh, uh, hull rotation as well. You know, it has like good mobility. It has like kind of a weird kind of trollish armor, especially if you're hull down. Like this gun mantlet is kind of a, a noob trap, kind of a bait over here. You know, you think that this tank is uh, weakly armored everywhere, but the gun mantlet is actually kind of tough. And also this upper plate bouncing, uh, having, you know, kind of extreme angle over here is bouncing if you are looking down with your minus uh, or not minus, sorry, 11 degrees of gun damage. Depression. Yes, it actually has 11 degrees of gun depression, which is uh, one of the highest uh, outside siege mode gun depressions in the game, especially in tier 8 as well. 
so ALT Proto is also what Wargaming is looking at. And uh, there were a lot of buffs uh, outside uh, that as well, you know, inside the other deck trees. Like this uh, WZ111 Model 6, which, you know, is not available everywhere even, was also buffed. Uh, we can take a look at this over here. Uh, aiming time, penetration, so maybe they are thinking about introducing it somehow, sometime, to every single server. And for French tanks, uh, some nice changes to the AMX 12T, AMX 1375, especially the uh, extra shells, what you can carry in this vehicle. Also, gun handling has been made better, more accurate, uh, even more accurate, and uh, even better uh, aiming time on the 75mm gun, for example. Um, on AMX 1375, which uh, I would say, you know, this those two tanks are pretty damn nice uh, for it or for tier tier already. AMX ELC Abyss, uh, you can see buffed as well, 75 millimeter. Although uh, I don't know who uh, is using 75 millimeter over there. Uh, budget AP also pretty damn big buffs guys uh, definitely going to check this uh, tank out as well also M48 A2 Rampanzer or Rampanzer same treatment as to the 15 and pattern buffed um, the alpha damage from 240 up to 280 and also the high explosive rounds and also uh, it received extra engine power so this tank, for many of you guys, uh, the shovel tank has been collecting dust. Maybe something to look out for, for sure. Shermans are also getting some love. M40, uh, M4A1 Sherman and Easy 8 as well. Uh, some love over here. You can see that the gun handling has been uh, buffed. Uh, uh, also reload time, DPM buff for this tank over here. Then... Uh, we have extra view range, uh, better gun handling for the EZ-8, which I love already. This was my first uh, ever favorite tank in World of Tanks, if you have been following my channel uh, for a long time. And you can see that they cleaned up detectories uh, for T20. A lot of modules and the different things have been removed simply. Uh, pattern, we talked about that. M46 pattern is also... Uh, getting some love, there is uh, deck tree uh, overall, I'm going to show you this as well in a second. Uh, patterns module tree is going to look a lot cleaner, so if you spent already, like I did, you know, a lot of time grinding out the different modules when, yes, our time was wasted over there, but, you know, for newer players, I guess it is better, uh, but you can see that the aiming time has been buffed on 105, especially, and also uh, some TPM love uh, for the 105mm gun, uh, so... Overall, I would say Patton is getting more love than uh, the M46 Patton than the M48 Patton. Getting some more love. And uh, other Soviet tanks over here buffed. So, yeah, overall quite a huge uh, list of buffs. If you want to see all of those, uh, I'm going to leave that link under the uh, description as well. Uh, but uh, let's scroll up a little bit. Oh, by the way, yes, this one. AMX Talk and AMX Top now extra shells right over here so stock grind is going to be better on amx 1375 with this 75 uh, millimeter gun and uh, talking about the module overhaul so you can see like this is what you currently have under the m46 pattern and after the removal of many guns many things including the radio. You do not have to grind out the top radio now. You simply start with the top radio. You only have one engine to reach instead of two different engines uh, to search. And uh, you have uh, uh, next gun upgrade basically is the top gun, 105mm gun. And if you want to get the turret, you have to get that after the gun upgrade. So it's, you know, for newer players or if you do not have the patterns yet, this is definitely going to make it easier for you and they did remove the radio and one gun option from the budget uh, 25t ap as well so guys uh, buffs with update 1.26 uh, which buff are you the most uh, excited about let me know in the comment section down below thank you so much for tuning in today guys hopefully it was helpful i thank you for your attention and i catch you soon with something else stay awesome